Hello, how's everybody doing? All the children of the light and star seeds. I hope everybody had a nice uh, Halloween yesterday, uh, a nice and safe Halloween. So I wanted to come on really fast uh, this morning because I really don't have a lot of time. Uh, but I wanted to share with you my experience. Uh, this was on Saturday, uh, Saturday night. And um, I had an experience with my sister, uh, my other sister, and she lives alone and she was having issues with her, uh, with her apartment um, with, of like a spiritual nature. Um, there were, or I think there still is, which we haven't completely clear the space um she was having she was seeing things um because she's very sensitive she has mediumship ability and she's clear visual I, I think that's what you call it so she can see spirits where I am clear audio where I can hear them so we work together to clear her her space and there were two spirits there, uh, a man and a woman. Uh, so she was having, she was seeing a woman there um, in her apartment. She also saw a man. She, she, she saw a body bag in her closet um, one morning. Um, you know, there were various different, she had various different experiences, which caused her not to be able to sleep and so we actually um use the pendulum to communicate with them um i also could hear uh what they were saying i you know i was able to hear the thoughts and she was able to to see the spirits um so it was really interesting um so basically we what we did was well I did um I took I used sage I used incense uh I used um what else did I use sage incense and it's called palo santo so I I used my feather I smudged the corners you have to go to each corner because they kind of tend to hang out in the corner, in the corners. So you have to go to each corner, smudge to the corners, even go into closets. They like to hang out in closets. So you got to really clear the energy, make sure you clear the energy in the closets. Um, what else do we do? We also, um, oh, and also there was a portal in her room by the, uh, by the, this fire alarm um, that she has in her room and we had to close the portal and I ended up bringing my tuning forks. So we used the tuning forks to close it. So that was really interesting. Um, so at the end, I mean, her, I mean, it, the apartment when we were done, I mean, it took over an hour of all this and I was even, I was, I even opened a portal for the spirit to, you know, go into, to cross over to the light, but she was kind of stubborn. So we're thinking that she's still there. So, I mean, when you're doing this type of work, it could be a process and it's kind of like, you have to reassure the spirits and help them to cross over because they can be afraid, especially with this woman, she was afraid to cross over. Um, so we were kind of like reassuring her and, and talking to her and, um, pretty much trying to convince her to cross over and to not be afraid. So it's kind of like, I mean, I kind of feel like it's almost like a counseling session because you're dealing with their ego. So they have the same ego when they cross over. So that's the reason why they're stuck. So, I mean, you kind of have to, um, it's almost like becoming a therapist. Um, and every, you know, each spirit has different needs. 
So you kind of have to find out what their needs are. It's very interesting. Um, so that was the the kind of first time that I I did something like that. Uh, we're gonna have to probably work on it some more. Um, but you know, I also did before doing this, I called in my spirit guides, my angels. I had to, you know, call in extra protection and for, you know, for them to help us. Um, yeah, you should not attempt something like that if you don't know what you're doing. You know, you should always seek the help of a, of a professional medium, which I did uh, because I have an aunt that she does this professionally. And, you know, I hope, I hopefully I will be doing this as well. You know, I see myself doing this in the future. So this, this was kind of like a training for me, but um, she advised us on, you know, what to do. So it was, it was a very interesting experience. I mean, to me, it's just speaking to spirits is just like speaking to people. It's the same. It's the same thing. And it's it's nothing really to be afraid of. I was totally not afraid. Um, it was not the first time that I've spoken to spirits. So I really was not afraid. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, this is a great time. The veil is thin. It's a great time to connect, even connect with your ancestors. Um, I know some people have, they have altars, like ancestral altars that they use to connect with them. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's, our ancestors are our DNA. So if you do any type of ancestry healing, um, you know, it's, it's really good because it, you're healing yourself and then you're also healing your ancestors as well. You're, he you're healing that line and it's all connected to your DNA. So you're upgrading your DNA when you when you perform that type of work um it's very beneficial um and you know basically i've done it um i just send love to that particular ancestor and you know i put that intention out there to send love to any other ancestors um because the timelines are happening simultaneously. It's not like, okay, this happened first, then that happened. No, it's all happening at once. So it's pretty, you know, it's pretty interesting stuff. All right. So, I mean, if you guys have any comments or experiences, you know, please, I would love to hear about it. Comment below and, you know, share subscribe and thank you for watching my channel and have a wonderful day.